Hey everybody, this is John Turk. I'm coming at you from Julia's channel. So welcome if you're new and hello again if you're not. So what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about uh, the film industry, Hollywood in particular. I'm, I'm an actor. I've done quite a few things and uh, everything in the news right now is about P. Diddy and all the people that could be involved. And I think this is important for parents to know, especially other kids, if you're young and you're getting into the film industry, I think you need to know about some of the things that go on. And some of what I'm going to tell you is it's obviously happened to me. And the first story I want to get to involves a modeling job. Now, a lot of kids want to get into modeling and their parents push them into it or whatever, but realize there are a lot of predators in this industry and there are good people too, but unfortunately the predators rule in a lot of ways. This was a modeling job. It was like an under, underwear type modeling, very similar like Kelvin Klein. And I got called to do this uh, audition. And it was a uh, test shoot. And when you go in there, you actually do a little bit of modeling and then you leave and then they decide who they want to go with. The interesting thing was, is I already worked for this photographer at one point and did some stuff for him. And so there was a little bit of a trust there with him. At this point, I was young. I was a policeman, a very young policeman. And he knew that. I was also a martial artist. I had just finished doing Mortal Kombat, which he knew. In fact, some of the shoots we did, I was kicking and punching and I was 215 pounds, so I, I'm telling you this because I wasn't a little guy. This guy knew I was a policeman. He knew all these things. I go to this audition. I walk in, and there's probably about 20 guys in there. And I'd say 90% of them were probably 19 to 22 years old. And here I am. I'm probably the oldest at 26, 27 years old. And so I wait, and they finally call me in. I go up there, and I start to do my thing. He gives me the trunks. And I start to, you know, start to do some modeling and he's snapping shots. So there was a little trust, like I said, with this guy. So he says to me in the middle of the shoot, you know what, John, I got to adjust the, 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 one of the sides of your trunk. And I said, what do you want, want me to do? And he goes, no, no, it'll be real quick. And he walks over and pulls up the one side of the trunk, steps back and gives it a look, you know, and he continues to do some shooting. And he stops in the middle of it again. He says, you know what? The other side, hang on, let me just adjust the other side. So he comes over and he goes to adjust the other side and pulls on it. And then he looks at the other side, pulls on it. And then he's going like this. And then he just rips down the front of my trunks and all my private parts are exposed. And when this happened, I was, it was so shocking to me. At first I was like, okay, what just happened? And, and then all of a sudden this, rage took over and I grabbed him by the face and the back of the head and I just launched him back and he was a smaller guy he was probably about 130 pounds about five foot four and he went rolling over and started you know yelling I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and then ran down the stairs and shut the door so meanwhile I mean my f-bombs are flying I'm so aggravated pissed off I don't know what to do at this point I feel like just trashing all his equipment I'm just enraged and I, I get all my clothes on and I my other belongings and I start to walk down the, the stairs because it was a long staircase going into the lobby where everyone else is waiting. Now, I'll just paint a little picture for you. The front desk is there and the photographer standing behind the front desk girl cowering and she's looking up at me. Their eyes are real big and he just keeps saying, sorry, it was a misunderstanding. Sorry, it was a misunderstanding. And I yelled some explicatives and I told the other people they're trying to be cast I said hey guys I said if you're here and you want your private parts grabbed I didn't say it like that though I said you can stay but just so you know this rotten scumbag and I told him what he had done and as I walked down the stairs everyone just kind of looked at me and the room was silent you could hear a pin drop and I walked up to the desk and I said hey listen I want every single picture you ever took of me and I want the negatives and I want every one of them. And I, he said, I don't have them. And I said, yeah, you do. And I started to walk around the counter. He goes, oh, okay, I got some of them. And he pulled, pulled the drawer open, went in there and pulled out some of the photos and gave me the negatives. And I said, I want the rest of them in two days. He says, I don't know if he can get them in two days. I said, I want them in two days, negatives and all. He gave me those and I got the rest of them back in a couple days. But when I walked out, I just realized only two guys got up and left. The rest of them stayed. They, they wanted fame. They wanted, you know, notoriety or modeling jobs so bad that they were willing to risk being grabbed. And this guy now knows that these guys know what happened in state. So he's probably going to be even more of a predator. And the guy did that to me knowing I was a policeman, I was a martial artist, and I was 215 pounds. So 
I just think parents, you guys need to know if you're getting your kids involved, especially in the film industry or modeling, that there is a lot of predators out there. And you think when you meet these people, you can trust them, but you never can trust them. And I want to talk about something that happened that is a good aspect of the industry involving a child actor. I was on the set of a film and an actress, a young actress named Abigail Breslin was there with her mother. And, and quite ironically, I was playing a pervert in this film. And I had a scene with her and I got to know her and her mom and her mother did not let her out of her sight. She was all over everything she did. And I even heard conversations exchanged where she was very stern, but yet very professional in how she wanted her daughter's affairs handled. And at one point I walked up to her and I said, hey, listen, I wanna let you know you're a good mom. It's, it's good you're here with your daughter. And she just turned to me and said, yeah, I know what you're talking about. So she was obviously aware of what's going on in this film industry and she was there. She was a parent that was hands-on and involved and my hat goes off to her. So mom, dad, if you're out there and your kids are getting involved in this industry, there's good people there, but there's a lot of bad people too. And I want to tell you of a Bible verse that will ring true. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and you don't want that happening to your child. So if you're getting them involved, make sure you're there or make sure you're involved in some way, shape, or form. Okay, we'll see you, and I got another Hollywood video coming up soon.